what's going on guys today i'm bringing you a quick video on uphold my goal from this video is to help you understand how to navigate through the exchange i'm going to show you how to buy and sell i'm going to show you how to transfer to another exchange and or wallet and i'm going to show you how to access your wallet's address i'm going to try to keep this short sweet and simple so with that being said let's jump into it Pete this come on Alright guys, so this is what Uphold looks like on a desktop, and everything I show you on here is the same as the mobile app. The layout's just slightly different. Um, this is a screen grab that I got from Google of what the mobile app would look like. Uh, it is an outdated photo, so down here where it says activity, this would say earn. Uh, recently, Uphold brought staking to the platform, so that's what the earn tab is. But for starters, I'm going to show you guys how to buy and sell. Show me the money. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you're on a mobile app is hit this transact button. When you do that, it's going to take you to a screen that looks like this one here. Um, what's important to know is that this top box here is always the account that you're pulling your money from. And the bottom box will always be the account the money is going to. So if you were buying crypto, this top box would either have your debit card or it would have your bank account. And then this bottom box would have the crypto and vice versa. If you were selling your crypto, your crypto that you had would be in this box and the bank account or the debit card would be in this box. It is important to know that if you use a bank account to purchase, um, there is a 65 day hold to send your crypto to a crypto wallet. Say what? Um, there is only a four business day hold to cash out your money. Um, the 65 day hold is if you wanted to send your crypto to another exchange or to a cold wallet. So ideally guys, you would want to use, um, a debit card. Um, there is a lower daily limit that you're allowed to spend with a debit card, but it is still preferred. If you wanted to send your crypto to another exchange or wallet, what you're going to want to do, if you're on the mobile app, you're going to hit the transact button again. You'll be back to this screen. You're going to put your crypto that you have in the top box you're going to select how much of it you're sending i'm going to send the max and then in the bottom box what you're going to want to do is scroll down until you see crypto networks um, you want to select the network belonging to the crypto that you're sending so in this case i'm sending xrp i'm going to select the xrp ledger network you'll see uh, the breakdown here you'll hit preview withdraw and on this next page, it'll ask you for the XRP address and it'll ask you for the destination tag. What did he say? So it's very important to know that anytime you're sending your crypto to an exchange, you want to look for a destination tag as they are usually required. If a destination tag is required and you forget, your funds will never make it to your account. Your funds aren't totally lost, but you'll have to contact customer support and they'll have to find the transaction and manually release it. However, this could take a few weeks, so it's better to avoid the situation altogether. If you're sending your crypto to a wallet like a cold storage, a destination tag isn't used. But if you're sending your crypto to an exchange like Uphold or Coinbase, um, usually you will use a destination tag. Not all cryptos use destination tags. However, it's better to be safe than sorry, so just make sure you look for it anytime you're using a, an exchange. Um, in this instance, I'm sending my XRP to a cold storage, so I'm not going to use a destination tag. So on this next screen here, you'll see, um, you know, the fee, how long it's supposed to take, etc. You'll hit confirm withdraw. And on this next page, it's going to ask you for your authenticator code. For those of you unfamiliar with an authenticator, um, when you set it up, Uphold will make you set it up. It'll look like something like this. Um, basically, it'll say Uphold right here. Um, and you'll have six digits you'll have this little circle right here and when the circle runs out these six digits will change so um it's it's just an extra level of security all right so once you enter your authenticator code in here you'll hit continue and then you get the check mark it'll say your transaction is complete you'll see it leave your account and then it should show up very soon if you're using xrp uh, also, I noticed that Uphold will send you an email asking you if you did withdraw your funds just to make sure it is you. Sweet. All right, the last thing I want to show you guys is how to find your Uphold address for a crypto. You're going to need this if you wanted to send crypto to Uphold to cash out or if you wanted to give it to a friend so they can pay you or send you some crypto. If you're on the mobile app, again, you're going to go to Transact. Be back at this box here. On the top box... You're going to go down to crypto networks and you're going to click on the network associated with the coin you're trying to receive. So I'm going to use XRP for example. 
on the next page you're going to see your QR code you're going to see your address and you're going to see the destination tag remember anytime you're going to an exchange you want to look out for this destination tag not all cryptos use it but better be safe than sorry if I can give you two words of advice always use the copy feature because if you get one letter wrong or one number wrong in this you'll lose everything you're sending same thing with the destination tag use the copy feature and the second thing I would advise is if uh, until you guys feel very comfortable sending crypto, I would always send a micro transaction before you send the big transaction. You're better off losing 20 XRP than losing 2000 XRP or whatever crypto it is. Um, and just as an example, if I were to go down to Bitcoin, uh, you can see here's the address here. There is no destination tag. So like I said, not all of them use it, but just make sure you look for it. And uh, on that note, that's all I have for you guys. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or even send me a DM on Facebook or Twitter. If you did find it helpful, please smash that like button and give me a follow. Uh, best of luck to everybody. Investor Cartel out. Please, uh...